Hello and welcome back to my channel Discover PhD Research Gradually and I am Bhumika Batra discussing the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in a field. In the previous video, I have discussed about the selection of the best articles. The articles needs to be taken care who has the higher number of citations. So, Moving ahead today with the new topic where I'm going to discuss about the introductory part of the SPSS interface. SPSS, which is the statistical package for social science. What does it do? A software used basically for data analysis. data interpretation the data analysis can be done in three different ways via SPSS The first way, it describes the data using descriptive stats. For example, mean, max, minimum, frequency etc. It also examines the relationship between variables which can be done with the help of correlation analysis, regression analysis and few statistical tools. Third is it enables to compare. It enables to compare the groups. It is done with the help of t-test, ANOVA or any non-parametric tests. So these are the three ways which SPSS analyzes the data by using the descriptive stats, by examining the relationship and by also comparing the groups. Components of SPSS. These are output viewer and data editor. First move with the data editor. Data editor has two views data view tab and second is the variable view. So I'll explain you the difference between data and variable view. Let's take dv as data view, vv as variable view. The first, data view looks like a spreadsheet like a excel has variable view it contains the definitions of variables okay the second point here is in data view variables are shown in 
कॉलम वेस केसेस आर शोन इन रोज वॉट हैपन्स इन वेरिएबल व्यू इज वेरिएबल्स आर शोन इन रोज एंड वॉट द कॉलम शोज इज द स्पेसिफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक or feature of variables shows under column so what do i mean is in the data view it looks like a spreadsheet format which is which excel has the second point says in spreadsheet in the data view the variables are shown in the column and whereas cases are shown in the rows coming back to variable view it defines as the certain characteristics or specifications of these variables here variables are shown in rows and the variable specific characteristics the features will be shown under column here we will be discussing about the variable view tab in detail under variable view you will find certain heads under columns the first is name the name has certain characteristics or certain conditions which need to be followed first it should be unique it should not contain any space in characters the foremost condition for the name is it always starts the first character as a letter so the first character should be a letter you cannot start with a number coming down to second which is the type the type of data there are certain type of data under spss which are comma numeric dot dollar string date and etc so by default under type head the numeric type always comes and the numeric type refers to the variables whose values are in numbers so by default the type always shows as numeric and numeric refers to whose values are in numbers so you can change as per the certain criteria of your variable it should be in either it should be in data the no, sorry date type string comma dot or etc the next comes to width it defines the field width so you don't have to do anything with this width then comes to decimal decimal always shows in case of numeric type so you can make it to a zero the fifth will be the label label has a descriptive name of variable descriptive name of a variable the maximum characters goes up to 256 it contains spaces or it contains every condition which name doesn't the sixth is values under values you have to assign certain descriptive value labels thus numeric code represents the non numeric categories for example zero denotes to male one denotes to female 
I will be showing each and every head practically in the software. First, we'll try to understand their meaning and the usage of the particular heads. The seventh come is the missing. Under missing head, we can put certain missing values or where we don't have the data. For example, if certain respondent have refused to give the data, so these missing values are flagged and do not consider into calculations. So you can put missing values as you can give any number to it like you can give 999 or 0 or dots. So you can define the missing value by any of the characters or numbers. So it will not be countable when you will be calculating your results. The eighth comes as column. Column has certain characters for column width. So it has characters for column width. Then comes to align. The right, left or center. Then comes to The last head was measures. Measures the scale of measurement. It can be, it is of three types nominal, ordinal, and interval. In a real life, there are four kinds of scale of measurements, which is nominal, ordinal, interval and scale, wherein SPSS takes only three measures of scale, which is nominal, ordinal or interval. Coming to the nominal, anything which are grouped, labeled, classes are always nominal. Nominal is always used in qualitative analysis or qualitative study. For example, gender, marital status. Coming to the ordinal, it is in ranking order example qualification a is bachelor b is masters c is phd so we can say c is more qualified than b and b is more qualified than a or we can say the second example top five good books covers under order coming back to the third the interval it refers to the distance between two observation here example will be a uh, temperature on hill station it is zero degree Southern area, it is 2 degree. Northern area or eastern area, it is 4 degree. So here the difference is of 2. The specific distance between two observations. So comes under interval. For this measurement or scale of measurement to be understood very clearly, Kindly go to my YouTube channel named Discover PhD Research Gradually with Bhumika Batra. There I have uploaded one video on scale of measurements. This is all about the SPSS interface concepts. I am offering one SPSS basics course online. If you like the concepts and understood the theoretically part of interface, Kindly register yourself. All the details about the course are mentioned in the description box below. 
If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more updates. I will be see you in my next video. Bye.